Hi guys, it's me Karen and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do part two of this page we're working on here. And the book is called Coleridge Wild 4 by Emmanuel Collin. It's a really nice paper in here. You also have a preparation here if you wanted to take the picture out and do some watercoloring and tape that down on a board, put a little border around it. I did that on um, the little lion page I did. I put tape around the edge and then did a watercolor background. I've decided that's a lot of work and it really looked good without a background on it. So I think I'm going to do the rest of the pages in here without a background. Just kind of having fun with them and just coloring the pictures. So today we're going to work on the little flower up here. Not quite sure what it is. It could be like a um, climbing rose or a peony type flower or it's got a lot of pretty petals. <laughs> I'm going to pull out some light fast because I haven't used those in a while and I only have three pencils and we're going to use these to color the flower in. So I have deep rose, dusty pink or dusky, there's no T, so D-U-S-K-Y pink, and white. These do not have numbers, so that's what we get. I think I have them sharpened good enough. I think we'll go in with the dusky pink first. Okay, I'm going to just give that a little bit of sharpness. I'm just going to kind of go in where it's uh, dark colored darker because they already have a shadow going and we're just going to put that down in some of these areas. So how is everybody doing? I hope you're all doing well. I like this combination. Almost as good as the Prisma combination that I have <laughs> been using in the Magical Dawn book with the black raspberry. So the other color will be a nice deep color in here and this is our light color and then our white will be on the edges. So we're just going to go around. I'm going to be turning the book so that the color comes out to the edge of the pen a petal instead of uh, trying to do it the other way. I want some lines that come out. Just using a light pressure on it. And the only thing I do other than following the um, shadowing is there are what I call hills and valleys on these petals. And in the valleys, I make it darker and on the hills, it kind of goes up, I make it lighter. So if you have a, a little valley there, just darken it up. Works on the petals that are flat and facing the sky. The ones that curl up are done a little different, but we haven't gotten to one of those yet, so we'll talk about that when we get there. Just going to kind of go around and get all those. Sorry. I'm just going to put the freckles on her face. I forgot about doing that. I'm going to use the Copics, the same ones that we used on her skin, and dot some in. So here we're just going to pick an area and make something light. Again, this is kind of like the valley, and that is kind of like a hill. 
if you look at it upside down. Okay, so far, <laughs> and we're going to go in with our um, deep rose. Then bring out some of that color. very lightly Want to make sure it's nice and deep in these areas. It's kind of our deepest shadow there. Just going to press a little harder there and pull that color out. These pencils are very pigmented, <laughs> so you don't want to go in and do it really dark right at the first step. You want to build these colors up and blend them out. Hoping I'm staying in focus here.
sorry. Let me make it dizzy or anything. I just find it easier if I'm working, pulling the color down the petal. I'm not messing with my wrist too much if I do it that way. Just a couple more petals here. There we go. Thought I'd move you down a little. Then we're going to go back in with our dus dusky, <laughs> dusky, 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 yeah, our little light pink here. Let's bring that out just a little bit more. Leaving an area for the white. everything out. So there'll be a lot of turning in the book again. <laughs> Sorry. I'm putting a heavier pressure on this.
and that softens it all up. If you want to make anything deeper, just bring in the deepest color and go back over some of those areas. Just a little touch here and there. Doesn't have to be too much, it will show up and just add the little touches you want. And there we go. Let's go back in and add a few extra just white lines. have the center of the um, flower too. Ooh, I didn't pull any colors for that. What about Parisian orange. Then we'll pull um, Polychromo, we use this one in her eyes and his eyes. <laughs> and we'll just pull that in there too. Now we're going to do her little freckles. I started here. I'm just using the Copic, um, yes, this is the dark tan. You can either use the um, brush tip and just add a couple of dots. There are marks under the skin here. I don't know if you can see them terribly well, but she's got freckles on her nose. And on her cheeks over here. So we're just going to add in some freckles in two or three different colors. We're going to bring some in in the E11. That is the... Um, barley beige. This might not show up, but not all freckles are really dark. You can put this on top of the other color and it'll blend it out a little bit. If you've got one a little too dark. Put a couple of freckles up here, too. And you can put a couple in with um, pencil if you like. Just 
pick one of the ones we used on um, her skin and you can add a couple in that way too. It's up to you what you want to do. There, well, I got some freckles going. Her hair. I have been debating on her hair for two days now. Either dark, dark, brown, or black. And I think we're going to attempt black because I don't know what else to do. <laughs> Um, the last one I did was try to match the animal's hair to her hair, the eyes to the animal, and then bring in some other colors. So we're going to go ahead and uh, do this in black. Um, I just don't know if I should do it in polys or... Well, we're going to do it in polys. So, we need a blue. We'd used a blue and this guy so we're going to add a little bit here and there with the tombow marker and the blending marker so we'll have them both out the uh, same one we used is the 526 and then the um, n00 is your blender so we're just going to find some areas here i want to put a little blue and then blend it in a touch here and there. Um, maybe we'll use this little guy here and put it in some other areas a little lighter no that didn't come out too much there we go cap this thing before I get it all over my skin <laughs> Uh, some up here. Okay, should be enough. Just curious. <laughs> Wanted to see if that would move around. Mm, I don't think so. I think it just gets it wet. Um. I have to find the lid again. Okay. Gosh. Now we put in black. So we're just gonna... We're gonna get the other black too. I have two of these. I'm gonna keep one really sharp. And one a little duller, but... We might even bring in some of the... Um, Distress ink in here.
Okay, this paper is really thick, so in order to get the deep color I want, I have to push really hard. I don't want to lose all the, um, I got a little tiny black up there, I want a <laughs> hairline in there. So I'm going to be bringing in a lighter color to go over that area, I think. Is a shadow going down here? I don't think I'm going to leave that there. I don't think that's really going to get a shadow, a little blade of hair there. Okay, we're just going to keep Pulling some hair down. see here for just a second if I bring in a little bit of the distress ink in those areas I think that'll work out. And the other thing I could do if I wanted to bring in some um, really dark color, we could play around with the um, black Tombow here. And then pull it some down with the um, pencil.
Okay, keep working on that. Then we'll bring in a little white in here too, and we'll be adding touch of that in there. Here's our highlight. Let go of me. <laughs> I'm just going to make that a little looser. I'm looking for the stick I used. Always fun when you can't find something on your own desk. Okay, we're just going to pull that in.
other side's going to be done the same way. We'll work up here at the top of her head. We might just go ahead and put a little black up there. Right up here in the... There will be a crease and right across her face here. Take a little up here. Okay. And that'll give me my Make sure I'm not touching that. Be the first time you see me do that. Okay, down with the black here. We want to get that nice and dark. Try to leave that lighter and then go down the face here. We want this dark, so we'll just shade that in. Okay, we're going to get a little more of that Distress ink, I think. Boom, boom, boom. Right there. Bring it over that blue a little bit. Just lightly over that line. I want to be able to see her hair, but I don't want it not to blend. <laughs> I don't want to, I, I want a line here with the panther, but I don't want it so light that it looks like it was intentionally just left white. So I'm going to add enough Distress Ink here to keep the line, but darken it enough if that makes sense. Okay. Then we'll do the top up here.
darken underneath the uh, flower petals. Just blend it out. I'm going to swirl it down. Connecting it to that line over there. more distress ink up there and she'll just have one braid left Yep, we'll just go down here and get this piece done.
Sorry, <laughs> just working on the braid. It'll be dark down here in the little V. Let me get down here and they get tinier. I'm always bringing out some hair here. I want it fluffier. She looked like she could use a little bit more hair. And then the wild pieces we want to have out. I don't know about you guys, but if I put braids in my hair, they never look that tidy. <laughs> So we're going to pull some hair out and just let it fly around. We've got to do our eyebrows. Oh, I need a really sharp pencil for that. That is not going to work. We want her to have her eyebrows, not big black. Smudges on her face. Okay. Just add a little bit more of the distressing down here and uh, I think we'll add a little tiny bit of the white on this side. And my cat has decided he's going to come in and attack my feet.
I'm going to throw a little of this color up here into her lips and bring that color down a little bit. And a little of the No, oh, what is this? A dusky, dusty <laughs> pink. And a little of the white, wherever the white went. Oop, that was a little too much white, but it's okay. Throw a little of that white up in here in her eye. Brighten those up a little bit. Play around with that flower a little bit more. But I think that looks pretty good. We're going to darken up her... Um, little ear in here just a little bit highlight those sections brightness there in her eye There we go. What I'm going to do is to take a picture and let you see it at the end of the video. Let me see if I can raise it. I hope you enjoyed watching. I think she turned out really kind of cute. So I will see you in the next video, guys. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below. I'm sorry if I was out of camera view or anything. Sometimes I just get into the picture and I don't know where it is in the camera. <laughs> Sorry about that. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Take care everyone. Bye now.